I've never actually cut down a tree in my life. The trees I'm going to be cutting down really aren't all that big. I mean, nothing larger than, than that in diameter. But, uh, I, you know, it's a first. To help me look the part and uh, hopefully maybe like reduce chance of injury. I got this uh, lovely helmet. This is a look. This is a look. That was a mix of satisfying, terrifying. Definitely got the adrenaline going. Now I know there's gonna be some people who comment on this video pointing out all the things that I am doing wrong. And I'm okay with that. I, I mean, I said right off the bat that this was the first tree I've ever cut down. I'm gonna cut down a bunch of other trees. So if you wanna give me some suggestions of some things that I should think about when cutting down trees, uh, please do so in the comments down below. Just, you know, be, be respectful. Take it as a moment to, to teach. Uh, when, when I am cutting down these trees, or at least what I'm, what I'm trying to remember, uh, all this is you know stuff I learned from watching YouTube videos, is to, you know, to look at the tree, see which way it's leaning, see where I want it to go. Luckily, out here, I don't really have any obstacles. I'm working my way back, uh, so they're hopefully not gonna snag on any other trees. When I'm processing the, the tree and, and chopping it up smaller, seeing, you know, as I cut this one limb, how's the whole tree going to move, going to shift, uh, so it doesn't, you know, come back at me, flip over, land on my foot, things like that. And trying to section it off in pieces that I can use, uh, depending on what, you know, species of tree it is. This right here, which I just cut down, is a black walnut tree. So I will probably use uh, some of these as posts. Uh, I, I know that they'll rot, I know that they're not going to last all that long, but for some temporary structures, they should last a little bit. Uh, other trees that I'm going to be cutting down will be turned into probably raised beds. And then there's a few that I'm going to not cut down just yet and save because I want to use those for mushroom logs. Lots of ideas, but also lots of work to do, so I'm going to get back to cutting. Some might turn their nose up at my use of an electric chainsaw rather than a gas-powered chainsaw, but I have to say, I love this thing. So I have a new fun problem, or it's not really a problem, but just something I need to be aware of. This looks to be a native uh, grapevine, but it's running through these trees, at least uh, these calorie Bartlett pears that I've been trying to cut down. This tree is all hung up with multiple vines. Now I'm going to try to cut them out before I cut the tree, because otherwise it's just going to uncontrollably swing. A bit of advice for anybody chopping down trees, especially if you're gonna chop them down and then run them through a wood chipper, particularly a small wood chipper, like I'm gonna be doing. Cut the limbs and organize them to make your life easier when you go to wood chip. Previous things that I have cut down, I did so without really a plan and it made wood chipping a whole lot harder. So whether you're going to wood chip or turn them into logs or whatever you're going to do with it, uh, just think about that when you are chopping up the tree to make uh, your future life a little bit easier. I'm probably only fourth, maybe 
maybe more like a fifth of the way done with all of the tree cutting I want to do in this area but there's a whole big space that used to have trees still a lot of work to do with the, the stumps but it feels good it feels good and it feels also right for the the first day of the year where I've set out to turn this area into a backyard homestead to be clearing away uh, for the past several years I've done it three years this is actually the first year I'm not doing it I've done this thing called the minimalist game where I declutter one item on the first day two items on the second day three items and it go grows and grows and grows and it's 450 things of minimizing stuff out of my life not doing it this year uh, but this seems somewhat similar of clearing out stuff that isn't serving me uh, to have space to create something better so I hope uh, you all had a, a great start to uh, 2023. Uh, if you're interested in homesteading and following along on my journey as I do a whole lot more than just cut trees down, uh, but start creating stuff in this space, be sure to subscribe. My name is Tyler Lloyd, and I wish you the very best. See you later.